Well, good morning. It's, uh, it's also my pleasure to welcome you to the 26th Annual Automation Fair. It's been quite a year. When I stood before you last year, I was new in the role and uh, a lot of good things in the last 12 months. We'll talk about some of those. But first, we'll start with Automation Perspectives. Automation Perspectives is our opportunity to do a little deeper dive into the trends and the innovation that's shaping the automation and industrial information industry. We're here in Houston today for only the second time in the Automation Fair's history, and I think it's particularly fitting that we're back in Houston, because consider the events that have affected this city just in the last three months. Hurricane Harvey ripped through the greater Houston area, inundating this area with 50 inches of rain. Nobody's ever seen anything like that before. Then came Irma and Maria and Nate. And the whole southern region was impacted. This convention center, where we're sitting right now, was home to 9,000 residents during the storm. You can see a picture of what the George Brown Convention Center looked like just weeks ago. Rockwell Automation is proud to have played a role in the recovery of Houston. And in particular, we deployed our disaster recovery teams to the region to help get our customers back up and running quickly and safely. We have dozens of engineers and field service technicians who were deployed to Texas to begin recovery efforts. In particular, in Beaumont, Texas, the river overflowed, the drives that were powering the pumps that supplied the city drinking water were underwater, and because these were not submersible drives, we needed to get replacement drives in a big hurry. And within 24 hours, our team was able to find the drives and to get them on site, restoring the ability to provide drinking water to the city in a much faster time than otherwise they would have been able to do. Rockwell put our hearts into this effort, and it was in that spirit that employees and partners all over the world made this a really good year for us. As I said last year, I, I stood before you for the first time as the CEO. It's been a busy year. It's also been a very strong year for us. New products, which are our lifeblood, had a particularly good year as we introduced very important new Logix processors. We introduced high-performance control drives and the multi-drive that was previously only seen in the back room of the automation fair, and you'll see it right down on the floor this year with already customer success stories there. And as Frank Kulishewicz is gonna talk about, adding functionality to our Factory Talk analytics platform to be able to take the data that comes from those plant floor devices to turn it into useful information and to produce positive outcomes for our customers. There's another success that we had this year that I am especially proud of, and that is for Rockwell Automation to have been one of only three companies that were awarded the prestigious Catalyst Award this year for promoting diversity in our workplace, especially by increasing the ranks of women as part of our talented team. This is something that we set out to be a part of four years ago, and we made it happen. It was a tall task, but I think it speaks to the importance of talent development to have the broadest possible pool of talent within our company where everybody can do their best work and everybody wants to do their best work. Because even though we're an automation company, people remain our most important asset. And it's been that way for a long time. For more than 100 years, Rockwell Automation has been synonymous with quality, with community, and reliability. 
Our customers know that they can trust us. Our employees are proud to work for Rockwell Automation. And we take pride in bringing quality products to the market day after day and year after year. These values have served us well, and they'll continue to be important tenants of our company. The world of industrial automation continues to change, but those basic precepts remain solid. As we evolve, it changes the way that we all make things, how we live, and how we work. The Internet of Things is unlocking new ways to gain value, to increase productivity, and we are just getting started. In industry, we see it in a number of ways. We see the power of the industrial Internet of Things to connect data, to provide more flexibility, more choice for people in the things that they buy. The development of advancements to keep people safe in the workplace. The ability to monitor and access data and conditions on an oil rig hundreds of miles away. These are just a few of the advancements of the modern industrial automation environment. The way we produce outcomes is through the connected enterprise. It starts with an understanding of the best opportunities for productivity. Then a team is assembled to combine technology and expertise, and finally, Clear results from a pilot are achieved, understood and refined, and then rolled out across the enterprise to get to scale. Behind all of this is the people that's involved. These people find new ways, better ways to make things, to live, and to work. Because we believe that good things happen when we combine the potential of automation with the imagination of people. And we're excited to lead that journey. With that, I'd like to invite Frank Kulishewicz to the stage to explore a little bit deeper the digitization that's unlocking so much additional promise in the world of industrial automation and information. 